here we are at Markham Park inside the Stones Museum. A lot more stones here than you might realise. I'm looking around, some of them come from all over Wales. The descriptions, a little bit iffy perhaps, but when you look closely, it's a fascinating look into some of the Welsh history and the old Welsh kings. Okay, so something about stones in the collection. You might want to pause and have a read of that. There's all about the stones. What's interesting down here to me is that they're called in early, early Christian monuments of Wales, but uh, the dating seems all over the place, and a Colburn gets taken out and replaced with Ogham, of course. And the other curious thing, it starts 450. If you read some of the inscriptions up at the top, it says that the conversion started about the beginning of the 5th century, which was the 400s. So I don't know who's supposed to have done that, because even with the conventional dating, the Romans are gone by then, and the Saxons haven't arrived. It's this sort of magical conversion taking place. So you have to remember that uh, the Roman Empire had been persecuting Christians, so the idea that it has to come that way is a bit strange when you think about it. Here we are, so here's a 1946 picture. So yeah, that's a quick idea, quick walk through. It is worth a visit, it's more than I realised. All right. We've got cartwheel crosses, as they call them here. Lots of crosses, so you can see definite traces of early Christianity. And when you learn about how they're read and who they signify, it's quite tragic, really, that uh, a lot of these haven't been properly translated. I was an attempt here at one. There we go. I think you'll find that Alan Wilson and uh, Baron Blackett will dispute most of these translations. I'm putting them there to give an idea. They are beautiful. I'm pleased to see that they are actually in a, a proper safe environment. They're well lit. Getting good attention. And here's one I really want to have a go at. So should we start looking more at Colburn and how that's put together? So there's clearly early writing going on here. What else we got? Quick look. Pillar of Thomas. Bits missing and things. Port Talbot. So these come from all over the place. So obviously feel free to pause the video and have a read. And we've got the Ogmore, the Ogwood, not far from here. We are, by the way, we are in my Steg, in case you're trying to find this. Let's come off the M4, Junction 38, my Steg. Follow the pill, sign or pile. And you'll find it easy enough. Look for the Stones Museum. So there you go. A little bit more upstairs, but that's Norman, supposedly. I think it probably is. And much later, there's more stones up there. So there we go. And it's a rather beautiful building. Now we're off, going to take up the mountain and have a walk up to one of the guys. <laughs> one of the guys. I'm the cameraman. You're, you're the cameraman. Yeah, you're the cameraman for the mountain. You're feeling fit, are you? Good, 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 good. You can carry me back down again, all right? Yeah, I wouldn't use up all your energy now. <laughs> So that's the rather unassuming little building that you're looking for. They, they do very well, actually, because you've got this kind of old traditional building on the outside and inside, all up very nice modern layout for the stones. Um, over that way, go towards the abbey. The whole thing's worth a day out. There's uh, a play area at the back. There's like a sort of fun fair type thing, lots of activities, somewhere to park your family. And generally have a good time. And of course, from our point of view, it's right by Man of the Gaia. And we're going to go stomping up the hills around there and finding out what else we can see. So, here we go. Make the trip down and uh, hope to see you there sometime. Oh, it's supposed to pay, apparently. Oh, no one asked us for any money. It says. Bless you, Caddo. <laughs>